So it's Flock again. And I just want to speak a little bit more on the uh, hashtag FMA and uh, the, uh, the, the hashtag FMH movement, the uh, fuck my ass and fuck me harder movement, also known, uh, aka the BLM movement. So I want to do a little bit of talk about this, the, uh, the fuck my ass movement. So, all these whiteies, these little white boys, whitey, honky, all these ones I'm starting to notice, you know how I'm seeing? You know how I'm seeing out there on the streets that are hashtag BLM and all this? Y'all motherfucking skinny jean wearing, metrosexual little skinny ass looking like Justin Bieber when he was 12 years old type kids. That's who I see out there doing this shit. I haven't seen like a grown, grown, grown ass man, like a strong, big, grown ass man out there participating in BLM. The ones that I have seen are the militiamen, the ones following them in the trucks with their guns, ready in case they do something stupid or ready to defend them in case somebody attacks them. Either way, that's what they're there for. And this shit is just fucking like, I do not want to be represented by that fucking group. By these little metrosexual pussy boys. These aren't even fucking men. They haven't been through shit. These are little pussy fucking baby boys wearing their fucking skinny jeans and shit. Like, hair all fucking quaffed up and shit. Look at me, I look so fucking pretty today. I'm gonna go do the BLM movement. Fucking metrosexual queers. I hate to say it like that, but it's fucking true, man. Ben, th those exactly are the type of kids that are... Fuck me harder. Fuck me harder. Hashtag BLM. Fuck my ass. Seriously. Those, those are the ones who are fucking all for it. Oh yeah, look at me. I'm helping. I really just noticed that. The majority of them are those fucking kids, dude. <sighs> fucking pathetic, dude. The fact that that kind of collective is what's out there doing this shit. I'm pissed off about this shit, man. I honestly, I want to fucking move. I want to get out of here so goddamn bad. The minute that my dad passes, I think the same day I'm packing my shit, telling my uncle, my pops passed, I need 20 grand, I'm getting out of here, I'll pay it back eventually over time. I mean, who knows, I, from what I heard too, he's, he might buy this house here for me to stay in after my dad passes, because I'm doing so good. But, I don't know, I don't know what I'd do here, living by myself in this fucking house. Especially out here with this shit going on, man, I want to get out of here. I want to get as far away from all of you people as I can. I wish I could take all my close friends and family with me. That's it. But otherwise, the collective, you dumb fucks out there, I want to get away from y'all. You know what we need to do? Just disconnect the motherfucking internet. Seriously. Just unplug the fucking internet. Make them all shut the fuck up. Even me. Make me shut up. It'll stop me from posting. I won't have a voice anymore. I won't be pissed. What I'll do is I'll get all fucking confused, go outside, see people are all outside too, start talking to my neighbors, you don't have internet, nope, no one has internet, oh shit, better go inside and get the guns, alright, it's time to go driving around, seeing what's going on, and what's going to be going on is people in chaos, people panicking, people looting, shooting, stealing, killing, let's do it for two days, let's turn off the internet for two whole days. 48 hours, black out the internet. Watch how much you motherfucking turkeys run around with your heads cut off. And then, in the middle of it all, when the chaos is just exploding out of hand, let's flip the switch back, off, back on. Watch how quick one of you stupid ass motherfuckers goes from breaking into somebody's house or breaking into somebody's business to, oh fuck, did my phone just ring? I've got Netflix, I've got Instagram. Oh, fucking A. Oh, look at it. Fucking David just hit me up. Watch how quick you fuckers do that. I hope to God they do. 
I hope they shut the fucking internet off for, on us. I really do. Just shut the internet off. Let us all go back to our carnal instinct. Then you guys can really see what oppression is like. Because like I said right now, all you motherfuckers are oppressing yourselves. No one's oppressed you. There's no white privilege. It's all in your fucking mind. That's you fucking being a dumbass if you think that there's a such thing as white privilege because there is not. I've never seen it in my life. Maybe you have for yours because you're a soy boy beta cuck who doesn't go out and do shit. You're not out there in stomping grounds, moving around, making moves, hustling with people, talking and shit, playing the fucking game. You're sitting at home watching TV. On your phone. So before you say white privilege exists. It might exist for you. Soy boy beta cucks. But it didn't for me. And I ain't gonna bow down and fucking take no knee. And get my ass rammed. For you guys. I'll be the one that'll start shooting. While you guys are running. While you guys are fucking running. Make sure you hold your fucking penguin pants up you guys. Fucking weak minded ass collective. The weakest motherfucking minds in the world gathering right now. Fuck me harder. Fuck me harder. In my ass. In my ass. I swear to God, I just want to follow them with a sign. I want to. Or, or just follow them. And while they're saying Black Lives Matter, I'll be like, fuck me harder. Fuck me harder. Because that's pretty much what you guys are fucking saying. Shut the internet off, man. Turn it all off. Then let's show you guys what true oppression is. So quit talking shit like people are oppressed. And people got more privilege than other. We're all controlled by the same fucking governing forces. We're all on the same fucking team. And me, I'm on the sidelines now. Y'all play your game. Enjoy. Have fucking fun. This is the most I'm going to do like a coach from the sideline. Hey, hey, player over there. Hey, pull your fucking pants up. Pull your motherfucking pants up. That's all I'm going to be doing. Anyways, I'm out of here. This shit got me fired up more and more every day, man. More and more. Every day.